Back in the days when rappers used to start off, we used to have to borrow the jewelry before we could purchase it. So that's why you hear a lot of rumors where they say, you don't own that, you don't own this, you borrowed it, duh, duh, duh. back in the days, you say that a lot, but it was true. But it's not a bad thing, it's just you gotta sell yourself like Cinderella, you know what I mean? What's up, y'all? This is Slick Rick on the rocks, please. Well, I've been in this jury game for a minute, since the very beginning. You know, only people that was before, people like me, Rakim and Mary B and them cats, was like Mr. T. So Mr. T was our role model before us. So this is where we come from. We come from the generation after Mr. T. So like my first piece of jewelry was like a ring like this one. You know, this comes from like the mid 80s. So it still looks like you got money, but you only got one piece of jewelry, you know what I mean? So that's the way, if you look at my first pictures, you would always see me with one ring or a bracelet, because I, I didn't have all this stuff yet. Once your eyes are exposed to a certain level of jewelry extremeness, you always want to reach that level. You don't want to go back to the bottom, you want to go to the top. This one, I got because I started getting bigger, you know? This joint was big, you see what I'm saying? Makes an impression. When I started getting some money, I got the ice in it to make it look even better. Cause when you like performer like me and stuff, the further away you are, you know, it look, it stands out like this. You see what I'm saying? So now you can see it and it makes an impression. It's like a Sammy Davis Jr. type of thing. You know what I mean? Big joints. This my wife brought for me. She gave it to me on my 40th birthday. Kind of looks like a military design. I get with this one, which is a little bigger, a little better. Arms are bigger, so it looks better on your face. You see what I'm saying? Plus, it's, you know, it's unique because nobody wears an eye patch, so when you put this on your face, it really says jewelry, like, what the heck? It's a creative idea to get an eye patch, you know? Finesse your, your whole look, your whole pirate look, you know what I mean? This is a watch that I wear when I'm mingling with the upper elite, you know what I mean? We don't get too, too crazy on them, you know what I mean? So you just drop on the little joints, and you go like this, and you just mingle with them like this. Ta -ta 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 -ta. It's a little, little ice will suit tie look. Well, it's classy though. It's got a classy look to it, you know what I mean? Is that a Cartier? No, it's a, it's a Bronxier. It's a Bronxier. <laughs> All right, so this watch is a Rolex. It's from the late 80s, early 90s. Got this from Jacob the Jeweler. It didn't have so many rings on it when I first bought it, and then you just keep going when you get money, you know? And it's this conversational piece, you know? It's how you move in urban neighborhoods. You gotta be large so that people, you could be like this, and they be like, yo, who that over there with that big ass watch on? Oh, that shit is a problem, you know? This is one of my first bracelets. I got this from Jacob the jeweler too. I used to borrow this from Jacob until I purchased it. Then I didn't own this yet either. This and this I didn't own. I had to borrow it from Jacob until I got some money. Then I purchased it. As time evolved, you gotta get bigger, as you see. This is a style that came out later, which made this look tiny. You see what I'm saying? Now you walk around like this and you ain't getting no, you ain't getting no respect. You're like, so what? Yeah, I look like give it to your girl. <laughs> so you get bigger like this. So when you put them all together, like this on your arm, it looks like one giant big bracelet, you know what I'm saying? So it makes an impression. Especially if you have on a short sleeve shirt, you know what I mean? If it's like hot, you don't wanna, you don't wanna overload yourself. You just wanna like wear one piece like this one. This is big, it's in your face, you can't miss it. Just throw a chain on it and just dangle it like this and call it a day like that. This one I brought from Chinatown, New York Chinatown. It was the biggest piece in the window. It was sitting in the window for like, Years, nobody was purchasing it. I assumed that it was a drug dealer's plate and he got arrested and he couldn't come back and pay for it. So they just stuck it in the window. It was a Libra plate. I'm not a Libra, I'm a Capricorn. But it was so big and it made such an impression, I had to have it. <laughs> so like a little paper, so I put some ice on it and I changed the Libra sign to balance, like a scale, like balance. Like relationships, balance, and you know, balance, harmony, balance, stuff like that. So it's like that, I haven't finished. I'm still gonna put some more ice on it later as the chips come in, you know what I mean? As far as golds, I'm all. I like, I like the rose gold because it's new now. Old gold is still good, you know what I mean? Sometimes you could dip a gold chain and turn it rose gold, you know what I mean, or whatever. A lot of these rings used to be gold, and they come from the mid 80s, early 90s, and then I just dipped them, white gold, you know what I mean? They look more expensive, but at one time they was all gold, like, like this. If it's too inexpensive, and you go on them like this. This piece we've had for like 20 years, 15 years. Sometimes you gotta stay ahead of the time. I knew this type of stuff was coming. It's supposed to be the symbol of the Asian symbol of yin yang right here. I didn't get to put the circle here and there, but you know, you get the point. It looks like Pepsi, but it's really supposed to represent the yin yang thing, you know what I mean? This is supposed to represent two hearts, couples, spouses. It takes two to make a thing go right type thing, you know what I mean? 
This triangle represents like the pyramids, all the way back to the Egyptians, all that stuff. I designed this one myself. Well, I bought the design to the jeweler and I told him, can you make this? And that's how we remove a shake like that. What's the length? Do you know the total length? It's, uh, um, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> it's long, it's long. For this next chain, I had to take off the jacket so you could get the effect, you know? This is one of my earliest pieces. This is Mother Mary, comes from way back. They call it a house medallion. They used to have the red ruby right there. Sometimes I just want to lay in a cut like this, you know what I mean? Throw some ice before someone says you look broke. Cause cats will say that. And this was also the biggest one they had also in the store in Chinatown. The same place that had this one. Fuck it, I got both of them. <laughs> this is an eagle. I really also bought it because it was the biggest thing moving in the store at the time, man. This chain is called like a barrel. Me and LL Cool J used to wear these type of stuff back in the day. This one's called a Gucci Link. This one also comes from the 80s. This one has a lot of history, the Gucci Link. When you see a lot of rappers right now with modern Gucci Links, they get it's a lot bigger and more unique and they put ice on it and stuff like that. So this plate is a scorpion. I got this when I was in LA one time. I went jewelry shopping. And this is the biggest thing they had in the goddamn store and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, God damn, you know what I mean? So, but I still bored it. I guess I was bored, young and bored. Well, I'm not a Scorpio either, by the way, so. Yeah, and this is, um, I know it's either Job or Nazareth, so I don't want to get the name wrong. You know what I mean? It's one or the other. I like religious stuff, so there you go. This I also got from the Diamond District. Ace of Diamonds, you know what I mean? They put it in a blue stone. It didn't mean nothing. It was just the biggest shit they had in the store again, like I said. It just was there. It was big, it was nice. I needed to step my game up, you know what I mean? I said, give me a shit. And then you need some more ice to fill in the gap. Just get like, like, I'll put this on right now, right? like this, it's cool, right? But now it needs a plate, or you gotta fill in this gap. So these two fill in this gap, so it looks like that, until I can afford this, <laughs> you know what I mean? This piece was a cross. A lot of people have these back in the days, like they didn't have this back on it, it was just a cross. As I started getting money, I put a, a nice back on it so it would have a better effect. So now, um, I went to the same guys that made this piece, and I told them, put this on the back of this. It was just, it was too thin. It needed some oomph. So they put this back on it and gave it a nice, powerful effect, you know what I mean? So now you can wear it all by itself like this. The jeweler put a, a nice scripture on the back. Psalm 23. I guess they got bored and just did it, you know what I mean? <laughs> nice guys, peace. This one uh, also comes from the, the early 80s. It's just a, a very nice heart ring. There was a couple jewelry stores that had some really nice stuff that cost a lot, but was lit like this. At that time, I wanted to make that type of an impression. But let's say if I was in the Hamptons, so you come with the ring and the, the regular, sh nothing else on, and then it becomes a conversational piece in the 80s, not now. Now it's like, bitch, step your game up, you know what I mean? The jewelry of today on the younger artists today is very expensive. You know what I mean? Now you see they watch game and little little pieces. They look little, but they're very they, they you can tell it's very expensive. You know what I mean? So that's the involvement of the game, you know what I mean? This is my generation before them. This is today's generation. It looks good on them, you know? It depends on how they wear it, how they swag it up. You know, it looks good. Like me goes, you know, they keep it up here like this, you, you know? So they can see when you're sitting down. Me, preferably, if I'm not sitting down, I like my shit to drape, you know what I mean? It all looks good when it's all together. Like, it looks like a cluster. But if it's just by itself, nah, I can't. You can't wear this by itself. Anybody get into the jewelry game, I will give them the advice of like a Cinderella story. You start off broke and then you you evolve like that. But don't waste time buying corny shit, you know what I mean? Like if you really broke, you buy like a, a gold bracelet and then you dip it into like rose or, or ice, you know what I mean? And then you know, and then you just keep on moving like Cinderella like that, you know what I mean? You know, you got one a little a little Cuban link and still be working and still it still adds to your Charisma. The best year of all time, I would have to give it to myself. I would also give it to French Mantana's watch. You got a mean watch. I would give it to Puffy, because he comes out sometimes with some, some expensive shit. 
Gucci man sometimes comes out with some nice shit. His wife too come out with some expensive shit. Busta Rhymes sometimes he can shut it down when he's ready. You know, Kanye West, when, he, when he's ready, he plays, you know what I mean? Two chains when he's ready. He comes out with a giant piece, you know what I mean? But when I first came home, Dougie Fresh had a ring, something like this. And it was just sparkling in my face like this every minute. <laughs> I said, nah, I gotta my goddamn game. So I went and got this. I got, I got one for me. My wife got one too. It's just something, you know, when you're in your, you just doing some low key shit like this, I said, and you just want to look normal, but still look a little flashy. It just go together like this. You see what I'm saying? Like this, yeah. I got the, I had the plain wedding bands too, you know? Like you really got to be in some boring ass place. Other than that, that's about all I could tell you, fam.